the Judgment Day looks like they're getting ready for another big story moment. So we'll see what's going on there. We'll also check out the latest with Trish Stratus, Rhonda's shocking report about our future plans, and more. Let's start things off with the Judgment Day and their story over on Monday Night Raw. So, a lot of the fan criticism with the Judgment Day storyline in recent weeks has been that the same few events have been happening on an endless loop. The Judgment Day fights with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn week after week, and they have their little back and forth moments with each other and with JD McDonough. And it hasn't been a bad story by any means, but it just feels like this story has been in a purgatory sort of state for a few weeks now. We get that there's tension there, we get that JD is trying to work his way in, but what happens next? It just feels like we've been stuck in place for a bit there with this story. But thanks to some dialogue with Rhea Ripley, it looks like some massive game-changing progression for the story is on the way in the immediate future. Now, earlier in the night, JD did help Damian Priest pull off the win over Sami Zayn. But Damian Priest didn't show any thanks or appreciation towards JD because he simply never asked for his help in the first place. So, in that backstage segment, we see Finn Balor trying to tell Damian Priest that JD helped him out, and they go back and forth doing their usual bickering. Rhea Ripley stepped in and said that it's just her and Dominic handling Judgment Day business right now. Ripley revealed that people think she's weak and distracted with everything that's going on at the moment. Rhea Ripley said that Finn and Damien have until Saturday at WWE Payback to make everything right. She said that if they don't all walk out of Payback with gold, then there's going to be some changes made to the group. Damien Priest held up his money in the bank contract and said, that's not a problem at all to him. So upon first glance and taking Rhea's words into consideration, Finn Balor is obviously the odd man out here. Dominic Mysterio is the North American champion and he doesn't have a title defense set for payback, so he should easily leave the night still being champion. Rhea Ripley already has her gold as well, and if she can get past Raquel Rodriguez, she'll also leave the night with her gold. Damian Priest has the Money in the Bank contract. He can cash in during Nakamura versus Seth Rollins and leave the night with that piece of gold right there. But as of this moment, unless something changes, Finn Balor doesn't have an opportunity to win gold at Payback. He doesn't even have a match scheduled for the event. So that means that Finn is most likely going to end the night without any gold. So does he get kicked out of the Judgment Day at Payback or shortly after? That's what fans are trying to figure out because all Judgment Day members have a path to gold at Payback, except for Finn Balor. So is this all a big plan to force him out of the group? Fans are also wondering if a tag team titles match could be thrown into the card at the last minute with Finn and Damian versus Sammy and Kevin taking place at Payback. If Finn and Damien find a way to overcome all the odds and win the tag team titles with each other, that technically counts towards what Rhea said. At that point, they'll have all the pieces of gold, and that should prevent any changes from taking place to the group. So that appears to be the two potential routes right now for the Judgment Day. Finn and Damien win the tag team titles to settle everything there peacefully, or Damien Priest successfully cashes in his money in the bank, becomes world heavyweight champion, and the group kicks Finn and JD out for good. That seems to be the two big routes that they're teasing here. And mind you that the official WWE Payback promotional graphic does feature all four members of the Judgment Day. Maybe that's been a hint this entire time, that Payback's gonna be a big night for them, either in a good way or a bad way. So it really seems like we're right there on the brink of seeing a huge moment go down with the Judgment Day. If Damien wins the title, it'll be a bittersweet moment for the group because they just gained another world title into the group. But that may result in saying goodbye to Finn Balor from the Judgment Day. So we'll have to see what comes from Rhea Ripley's remarks and if they'll be kicking someone out of the group come WWE Payback. Speaking of explosive ends to a storyline, let's get back into Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch. Like we've been discussing a lot in recent weeks, 
The big fan conversation surrounding Trish versus Becky is that it hasn't really been living up to expectations and could feel a bit dry and dull at times. And that's not really their fault, but a lot of fans think it's just because the feud has been going on for just way too long that there's not much story left to tell there with the feud. Well, Trish Stratus recently spoke with Post Gazette and she was basically half in character, half not in character, just going over their feud with Becky Lynch and their match at Payback. She had this to say, quote, Finally put an end to all the time Becky Lynch has wasted in my life. It's a challenge. Am I a little scared of it? Yup, but that's what drives me. I'm going to prove to Becky that I'm the greatest of this generation by beating the greatest of her generation. We've had a good little run and it's been really fun, but it's been a little long. I'm ready to move on, do other things and cross paths with other people." End quote. So it looks like even Trish Stratus is a bit burnt out with a feud with Becky Lynch and is looking forward to colliding with other superstars and doing other things. Trish's comments also seem like it could be taken as confirmation that Payback will be the grand finale for her feud with Becky Lynch. And also telling by Trish's comments, it looks like she will be sticking around, crossing paths with other superstars over on Raw. Which is nice, because Trish Stratus has been back on Raw for 7 months, but she hasn't really interacted with many other superstars outside of Becky Lynch. So it'll be nice to see some more dream matches out of Trish before this final WWE run is over for her. A big shocking report was also recently dropped regarding Ronda Rousey. Daily Mail reports that one of their sources allegedly claims that Ronda Rousey is currently preparing for a UFC return. Ronda Rousey of course made a name for herself in UFC being unstoppable for such a long run until switching over to WWE in 2018. But the report claims that Ronda is allegedly eyeing the UFC 300 event as the event that she wants to compete at during 2024. Ronda Rousey has yet to address the rumor, but if it turns out to be true, she'll definitely have everyone seated for that massive UFC comeback. But what are your thoughts on today's stories with the Judgment Day, Trish Stratus, and Ronda Rousey? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.